Hi, I'm Peter, the Director of Technology at Solid Digital. I wanted to talk to you about two-factor authentication and a gotcha I ran into on WordFence so that if you run into it, you'll know how to solve it. So first of all, two-factor authentication or 2FA is a way in which you can make your site way harder for hackers to, to get into. To what 2FA is, is a second thing you have to provide in addition to your password to get into your site. So your password is something you know. With 2FA, you'll also have to provide something you have. So 2FA requires a code generated by your mobile. This means that you have to have your mobile in hand to log into your site which makes it incredibly hard for hackers to get into your site in general. So you should implement 2FA, uh, definitely for admin users and all users if you can. So uh, 2FA can be implemented in various ways. Uh, one way to do it is with WordFence. So WordFence has 2FA built into it. WordFence is a pretty awesome security plugin. We use it a lot. It's got a great free tier and it's got a great premium tier. So with WordFence, you can just install the plugin when you activate it, you have to get a license. So you can just click through to get the license. It'll take you to a page something like this where you can click get a free license. That'll kick off an email to you. You can click on the email and that will automatically install the license on your website. Once you have WordFence installed, you can find WordFence in the admin bar on the left here and login security is an option under the WordFence options. Login security will take you to a page with two tabs and uh, the first tab is just for one user for you and the second tab is for global settings. So now when I was first setting WordFence 2FA up it seemed like it was really easy and it is really easy if, as long as you kind of know why WordFence is doing what it's doing. All the issues I ran into, they are documented, but, but I had a hard time like parsing the docs. The, some of the references to these things are in different places. So I thought it would help you if I describe what happened to me and show you how to not have it happen to you. So. What happened to me is I said I want all admins to have 2FA required. There's a grace period of 10 days, which means all admins have 10 days to log in and set up 2FA. So once you have uh, the 2FA required for all admins, then you should go over to users to ensure and that things are working properly and check how many days users have to set up 2FA. So when I did this and looked over here, this is what happened. So I saw everyone's 2FA is inactive, but there's no countdown. There's no 10 day countdown. Now in the, in the documentation, I saw that uh, admins, 2FA for admins, making it required is not automatic. This is because WordFence is setting up some guardrails so that you don't accidentally lock yourself out of the site by making 2FA required for all users but not having 2FA set up for any. So that's overall a good thing and the docs say that to set, you have to manually enable the grace period for admin users for 2FA. So the way to do that is you go to the profile and then there should be a, a link to enable the grace period. And I didn't find this link and as you can see it's not here. And it took me a bit of digging and to figure out that the reason there's no way to enable a 10 day grace period is because no one has 2FA activated. So again, this is a guardrail set up by WordFence, which is great, but if you don't know about it, it can be frustrating. 
So what I'm going to do is set up 2FA for myself and then the link to uh, activate the grace period for others will appear. So the way to set up 2FA is you need an, a 2FA app such as Google Authenticator and then you can scan the QR code with your app and you just add the, the code provided by your phone here. Now I'm not, after I make this video, I'm gonna delete this uh, instance of 2FA so that <laughs> you guys can't, can't use the, um, the recovery codes that are seen here. Although you still need to know my password, but I'm not gonna use this 2FA instance. I'm gonna reset it. But now that there is one user with 2FA, one admin user with 2FA, you can see all the other users suddenly get locked out because now WordFence feels like, hey, you've got, you know, 2FA is required and one user has 2FA, so you're not going to get completely locked out of your site, so we're just going to lock out all the other users. So what the next step is a manual step, and basically when you're setting up 2FA for admins, it requires a little more work than setting up 2FA for other user roles such as editors or authors. And this is again because, you know, WordFence just is putting up some guardrails. So last time when we checked the user, then uh, they, there was no grace period option for 2FA, but now you can see because there's one user with 2FA activated, there's a, a grace period that can be activated. And basically you have to go through each user and activate this 10 day grace period. So now if I look at this, user then you can see that they are in the grace period and to fully enable 2FA for all admins I just have to click on all these users and enable 2FA for them. Uh, so overall just to summarize the the gotcha I ran into was I had a hard time figuring out how to enable the grace period for admin users because WordFence doesn't show you the option to enable a grace period for a particular admin user until you have 2FA activated for at least one user. So the way to implement 2FA on in WordFence for admin users is first implement 2FA for yourself using an authenticator app and once you've got that done then you can enable a grace period for all the other admins let them know they've got 10 days to log in and set up their 2FA and uh, that's it so overall uh, make sure you you set up 2FA for your sites. Best of luck.